Hey everyone, it's Kyle Wood with Playa Sonora Realty. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I am your, as Artie says, your MC or <laughs> your host or I don't know. I think these ladies <laughs> know more about what's going on than I do sometimes. So we're going to let them talk today. But I have a surprise for everybody. Sandy just had a baby. Sandy is my uh, partner in crime here at Playa Sonora. She is part owner and uh, agent. And uh, she is um, going to introduce us to her new baby. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Nice to see you all and be back, you know, on board and on videos and, you know, giving out information as we try. And so this is Melody right here. She is six weeks old today. Six weeks. I fancied her up for the video for the you know introduction. So yeah, she's we're doing great. You know, she's ready to go. How much Took advantage of the quarantine time and just you know made tell, the best out of it. Tell us a little bit about her. How much? When did she come into this world and? Uh, um and how much did she weigh and yeah she was born on the 7th of april april 7th 2020 and she weighed approximately seven pounds six ounces and uh, about 21 inches she's really long baby i mean she's and everything went perfect it was you know a natural birth. We uh, had I had her at uh, Clinica San Eduardo, um, and you know had a wonderful experience. A very different from the U.S. Very different. Um, I was in the hospital for just less than 24 hours. Um, had my baby natural birth. When it's natural birth, it's you know you're in and you're out. So um, I had my baby at 11:49 p.m. on Tuesday, the seventh, and by 2 p.m. You know, on the 8th, Wednesday, I was home. I was home with my baby. So, you know, it was good. Everything went smooth. Um, so, yeah, you know, everything's been, been wonderful. You know, I'm very excited. And she's, she's, a, she's a quarantine baby. She's a COVID-19 baby. And I know it's something that, you know, one day she's going she's gonna to be known for, you know, one of the COVID-19 babies. So that's exciting, you know. She's going to be part of something that, you know, is 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 very important. It, it's marking our history. You know, so she's growing up in a different era. Totally, totally. So, but it's been good. You know, it was a little scary at first before I had her. It was, you know, the hospital. What if there's outbursts and stuff? So I did have her about three weeks before she was ready to go. She was good, and the doctor said, you know, we can induce her. And I was like, yes, you know, if she's good and she's healthy, let's bring her now because we don't know what's going to happen next week or the other, you know. And so, but she's perfectly fine. She's growing, you know, she's growing great. So, yeah. You she's had her, baby. We, uh, Sandy and I were out at uh, the horse ranch yesterday where we're boarding our horses and uh, um we had more baby watching than we did horse watching i think yesterday <laughs> yes yes it's gonna be like that for some time <laughs> yeah more baby baby watching than you know anything else but yeah well riley is very excited <laughs> uh for you and uh i'm very excited to see the baby and it seems like the whole family is uh, pitching in. Caleb as well, and and Martine and Mario. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have a lot of help, and you know everybody's excited and happy. So, yeah. Well, congratulations to you. Um, Thank you. And take as much time as you need. I, we uh, we when we put together our office so our audience knows when we constructed our office uh, we we put a little area back in the back room there for the kids so when they get off school or we can uh, have the baby back there that's very important for us for family time for all of us so um, yes. congratulations to you sandy 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, today we are going to discuss a little bit about uh, what is taking place right now uh, with the quarantine situation. We are all very excited. Um, Artie's going to uh, start off and discuss with you uh, uh, the, the, the three phases. There's phase one, uh, phase two, and uh, phase three. Uh, and Artie's going to uh, uh, talk to us about phase one today. Artie, how are you? Good. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Um, so phase one started um, yesterday, uh, May 28th and it runs through to May 31st. And basically it's uh, called Benyasco um, Reactiva, the reactivation. And in the first step, um, businesses uh, that are gonna be reactivating are anything that can be by appointment or that one-on-one. -on -one. So, you know, hair salons, barber shops, spas, you know, you make your appointment, you go in, you're just dealing with one person. Um, auto repair shops, AC, electric uh, repair, car wash, printing, sewing shops, um, all those different things where you can make an appointment and you just go in. Um, and these businesses, in order to open, have to sign an agreement. Um, it's uh, basically an agreement that um, they are agreeing to open under certain terms. Um, they're also going to have, um, it's like a 45-minute little training class, I guess, that they give them on all the different things they have to do, make sure all employees are wearing masks, are wearing gloves. Um, the city will go out to these businesses and sanitize the business. They will also, um, and they don't charge anything, obviously, um, to for the training for the employees and for the business owners. So this is all just processes and steps that they're doing just to get us back up and running and make sure everyone is um, being safe. Um, another thing that also opened during this phase is um, the MIA, um, which a lot of people don't know. That is the recreational like running track here in the city. Um, and so that opened yesterday as well. And it is by appointment only. You have to call and make an appointment and you can go for an hour to run or walk. Um, they're only letting uh, 50 people at a time, and they're making sure that people are um, distanced five meters apart. Um, you don't have to wear your mask or your gloves because they said it's not healthy to exercise wearing um, the mask. So you don't have to wear that. You just have to abide by the, um, the distance. So that's another thing that opened. They said all reservations this week are already booked. So they're encouraging people to, to already call for next week to book their spot. Um, one key point, because I've had several clients that have been um, asking this, um, if you are a resident, um, a Mexican resident, and you actually have a home here, um, you can't, if you want to, if you have to come in before the 16th, um, which that is phase three, which uh, we will cover here in a little bit. Um, you have to, one, prove that you live here, um, you know, utility bill, your residency card, um, and then you will be uh, required to quarantine um, for 14 days in a hotel in town. So this is a little bit different than the previous one where it was a hotel outside of town and a lot of people ended up quarantining. There's a couple houses that were offered and different things like that. But this one will actually be in town and they will have people at the hotel. It's been designated just for this quarantine. So they'll help people that'll go by and make sure nobody leaves the hotel, obviously, because we don't want people coming into town and then leaving and doing their thing. Um, they'll be checking up on them. They'll be taking their temperature on a daily basis. Um, so that is now going to be the new requirement for quarantine. Um, so that's another thing. And then as phase one, there's still no beaches, 
Um, the beaches are not open yet. We haven't gotten word. That's a federal um, rule that'll come down and they'll let us know. Also, no pools. I know a lot of people in the condos and communities with pools are getting anxious and <laughs> with the weather warming up to use the pools, but in phase one, there is no use of the pools either. So, um, but we're getting there little by little. This is just the first step. If we behave, if we do well, um, then we'll start phase two on June 1st. I had a question for you. Maybe you know this or not. I've been out and about. Um, we went out uh, to the horse ranch yesterday. Um, are we still obligated to wear uh, face masks? Do you oh, know? yes. Thank you. Yeah. The requirement of wearing face masks and also the curfew um, is still in effect. And actually um, now if when you, since businesses are open and that's one of the things that they cover for the businesses, if someone comes into their business without a face mask, they have the right to deny service to that person and ask that person to leave. Um, and also they're asking um, the citizens to call either 911 or some other phone numbers in town to report people if they're walking around without masks or if they're going into establishments without masks and the businesses aren't doing anything. They're asking um, citizens to report that. And, and Kiko was very, very, uh, not I would say strict, but very um, certain to say that if you are caught violating your agreement, that you will be shut down. And he says that he is sorry, you know, that he has to be so strict, but he just wants everyone to follow the rules so we can open and welcome visitors as planned on June 16th. He was on the radio. They interviewed him again yesterday on the radio and just he wants everyone to cooperate just like they have been. So then we can open and welcome visitors, which is everybody's in the goal, obviously, is to reopen and welcome all the visitors that are dying to come down. <laughs> We've... Uh... We've had a lot. We, I know, uh, yeah. you know, we we have our client management system, and and uh, I know Julie's been uh, getting some uh, contacts uh, for rentals, I believe. Uh, yes. Julie, why don't you tell us uh, what what's been going on uh, with you, and uh, specifically uh, what you know about uh, phase phase two. Hi, Kyle. Hi, everyone. Well. Uh, basically, as you mentioned before, the people start asking more f frequently because everyone who's stuck in the cities, they just want to come and enjoy the salty, the salty smell and the, and the beaches and, you know, enjoy our little paradise. Uh, these past days, I've been receiving a lot of emails and phone calls from friends and clients and they starving to come on to Peñasco. So, now that we're talking about the phases, the second phase uh, will start in June the 1st until June the 50th, but only if the first phase was concluded uh, successfully. That means if we everyone accomplish all the points that are mentioned before. Uh, what is going to happen in the phase number two or in the second phase? Well, we, we will still only with local activities. No visitors will be allowed into town. And that means also residents that for any reason are out of town. They also cannot come in unless they fulfill all the previous uh, points that are the mention. Uh, what is gonna be open on the second phase is Re restaurants, coffee shop, taco places, pizza, fruits, mo uh, furniture store, distributors, gyms, and all the, any others that may apply in that uh, paragraph, but they will be allowed to operate only at the 40% of their capacity. That means they will have to maintain some social distancing and restrictions that includes mask to wear the mask and also wear gloves depending the business you try to to visit 
uh, places of worship also may be reopened with some recommendation like deeply sanitizing of chairs, pew, and air, and, and, air, and the all areas in the in the worship places, and also social distancing with the suggestion to keep uh, people six feet distancing. And if you if the if the families want to go and worship, that must be at the most like four members of the family. Uh, any other places that will be open in the second phase is vendors, but it doesn't apply to beach or Malikon vendors, just street vendors, ecotourism activities, golf, sport, fishing, and all water activities, but this is only be allowed for residents only. It's really important to clarify this point. Even though second phase is only for local, for residents that we are here right now in town. No visitors allowed, no tourism, or no residents that are outside of town. And basically what is, is gonna happen in phase two, we, we're gonna just be a little bit more relaxed, but we are gonna keep the social distancing, mask, gloves, and the curfew, and the, a strong lockdown. So we're still going to have the curfew. Uh, we're still going to be wearing the uh, the masks when we go out. Um, yeah. Regarding the restaurants, will the restaurants be open then for sit down uh, meals? Uh, and and I believe that there is a maximum that uh, that the restaurants can hold. The maximum is gonna be the 40% of their capacity. And one of the restrictions is they will have to have a, a, a table in between tables. It's got, that means it's gonna be like, you, you can hold people in one table, then it's gonna be an empty table. And then in the other table, there's, you can have uh, people. It's like one in one. One yes, one no, one yes, one no, something like that. Uh, that that's uh, social quarantine. My my daughter uh, just came on. She's uh, in between classes. She's been adjusting very well. Um, I know on phase three, um, they are going to allow, start to allow visitors. And I believe that's going to be June 16th. It's when it's, we're going to be open for tourism. Uh, <clears throat> If I leave here on Friday, I plan on coming back on the uh, 16th. Now, it's my understanding they are going to take your temperature, and then they may also require you to uh, take a, uh, uh, a virus test, either a, a quick, it's a rapid test. Uh, and then I think that's available within 15 or 20 minutes. Um, but that's all I really know of. Uh, they're still going to keep uh, the the current phase one and phase two uh, parameters in place, but I don't know anything more than that. I think it's more to get uh, get the visitors into town. Uh, do you uh, do, do any of you have any additional information on phase three? I don't. The thing I have on phase three, they haven't really. Not that I have seen really broken it down like phase one and two, but just remember that phase three will happen only and if and only when phase one and phase two are followed and there is no increase uh, like no increase or breakout of cases and everyone is still doing their part still wearing masks and still following everything and only if that is all followed that is when phase three will occur on june 16th it's very important to remember to that a lot of people are already like oh i want to make reservations for the you know end of june and this it's like well we don't know yet you know that's what we're striving for and that's what we want um but it's not a hundred percent guaranteed that that's the day that we'll be welcoming visitors Trust me, we want to welcome you guys back just as bad as you guys want to come. So. Yep. 
Yes, we all do. On myself there. Artie brings up a good point, and, and that is uh, yesterday I was asked uh, on an interview that, that I uh, was part of if we would start accepting reservations now. Uh, my answer to that was uh, if, there, if the reservation was maybe in uh, September or October, I would consider taking that reservation. But if it was for June or July, I, you know, we can't be assured that, and we hope we, it's going to happen, but we can't be assured that, that uh, uh, the town is, is going to be uh, uh, accepting visitors. So I, 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 would, I would decline that reservation. Julie, what's your stance on that? I'm, I'm like you guys. I don't think I'm going to hold any reservation for June until we have the certainty that the town is going to be open because there's no reason to encourage the people to come and then let them know, you know, you can come. So uh, that, that kind of gives, I think, everybody a, a, a rundown. Um, we, uh, we have received a lot of inquiries over the last two months, a lot of interest. People do want to come down. Um, I know uh, Sandy's anxious to get back to work. Um, and, and, but, you know, enjoy your time with the baby. Um, and we do want you back to work, but enjoy your time with the baby. Um, and tell her to get to work, as a matter of fact. Yeah, she's going to get to work with me, too. She's going to star in our, our new commercial, <laughs> too, right? She's going to be doing videos and you know, being fancy for, <laughs> for the camera. That's right. Uh -huh. um, just so everybody knows, we, we do use the, all the new technology. Uh, it, in particular, the Zoom. This is how we've been communicating with, with each other during the quarantine. We also accept Zoom calls. Uh, uh, each, each one of us accepts Zoom calls to, to speak with our clients or prospects. And we're also available to go out and uh, shoot video uh, for you if there's a particular uh, project or a unit or house uh, that, that, that you want to take a look at, uh, we'll be happy to go out and, and do that for you. So there's always a way to communicate with us. Um, and, and we do appreciate you um, uh, uh, participating in these uh, pod, uh, podcasts. Sandy, anything else from you? We're just looking forward to, you know, reopening and slowly, because they will be slowly getting back to norm. You know, it will take some time. But, you know, thank goodness we're safe. Piñasco has, you know, has been a haven. Um, and, you know, we're happy all these measures have been taken. And, you know, it's been tough, but, but it's been okay. And, you know, we'll get back to, to the norm, to the pool beaches and, you know, all our wonderful visitors, you know, filling up the restaurants and the bars and the clubs and, you know, making this just, you know, continue to grow and everybody you know, being able to feed their families and make a living here in town, so. Well, thank you all very much. I appreciate the update. I'm sure our clients do as well. I'll be looking for our next uh, webcast uh, next week. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be uh, more technical in nature. I'm gonna be covering uh, settlement statements and uh, closing costs, so. Um, if we have any further updates on the quarantine, we'll certainly pass those along to you. So thanks everybody very much. I appreciate you. your time and keep up the good work. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.